Greetings and welcome to the introduction to astronomy. One of the things that I like to do in each of my introductory astronomy classes is to begin the class with the astronomy picture of the day from the NASA website that is apod.nasa.gov apod. And today's picture for October 1st of 2023. Well, it is titled a desert eclipse. So what do we see here? Well, here we see out in the middle of the desert in the United Arab Emirates, we see the sun up in the sky, but there's something different about it. And in fact, there's a big black dot in front of it. And that happens to be our moon. Now this was taken in December of 2019. And we see the eclipse here. And this is an example of what is called an annular eclipse. Now an annular eclipse occurs when the moon is not quite big enough to completely block out the sun. And there you see the moon directly in front of the sun blocking out its light, but not completely. And that is because it is at its greater distance from Earth. When something is a little bit farther away from you, it is going to look a little bit smaller in the sky. And the coincidence here on Earth is that our sun and our moon both have happen to have these roughly the same apparent size. So normally the moon is able to block out the sun. However, at certain times when the moon is at what we call apogee, its greatest distance away from Earth, it can appear too small to fully block out the sun. And you get an image much like you see here today, where there is an annulus or ring of sunlight still around the moon. Now that that's why we get the name of an annular eclipse. Now an annular eclipse can occur and we do see them and we have another one coming up in just a couple of weeks. And in fact, on October the 14th, there will be another annular eclipse sometimes called a ring of fire eclipse for it's the way it's viewed with that ring of sunlight around the limb of the moon. So again, a chance to see one of these if you happen to be in the right location and this time not in the desert of the United Arab Emirates, but this time it will go across parts of North and South America. So people in that part of the world will have a chance to see another ring of fire eclipse. Now to actually see the eclipse, you have to be directly on the eclipse path. So if you're not exactly on that path, you will see a partial eclipse. And in these cases, a partial eclipse will look much like any other partial eclipse, where part of the sun will be blocked out, but not fully blocked out. So you will see a chunk taken out of one side of the sun, depending on where you happen to be located within those specific regions. So that was our picture of the day for October 1st of 2023. It was titled A Desert Eclipse. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture, previewed to be High Sprites. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day, everyone. And I will see you in class.